code signal, arcade, databases, test check. Hello everyone, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving test check by code signal. Let's begin. So your professor has given you this task that you are given all these answers with this all this information for a test and you want to check, you want to go check if they are correct, no answer, or incorrect. They already provided a simple template. We had to create this if condition. Now a quick explanation it's if condition with MySQL. If is structured like this, if condition, then it will give you the answer if true, and it will replace those values in that select statement with the answers if true statement. Um, if the condition is true, if not, cancer if false. So that's how it's structured. And if I want to go and return the values like this, um, here's how I would do it. So with this if statement, here's what I'm checking. I'm checking if the given answer is equal to the correct answer. And if it is, oh, I'm sorry. First, I want to check if the even given an answer. <laughs> So I say, if given answer is not null, that means we check if it's not null, not empty, then we can go ahead and proceed with the second check. Else if it's not, no, if it is not null, then we will replace it with no answer. So let me go ahead and just put that one right here. We have that one done. Now with this new if statement, what are we checking here? We want to check if the given answer is equal to the correct answer. If it's not correct, if it is correct, then we say it's correct. But if it's not correct, we just type in, then the answer will be, it'll be marked as incorrect if this checks. Okay, and it already has it alias of as checks. So if I run this test, it should pass. All the other stuff is already, yep. Okay, now I hit submit. Let's we'll see what happens. Awesome. All right, guys. Um, I hope you like this content. Um, it's pretty straightforward. We check first if there's no empty answer. We check if it's not null. Um, I could use this certain check because, um, as you can see here with this example, if we give this information, the emptiness is marked as null, and then I want to check if it's not null if not given an answer. And then the basics of the if statement is that you know you check the condition. If it fulfills the condition, then the first part is you could return that part if it's true or return an expected response if it's false. Um, you have a good day, good luck with any SQL tests you have in college, and uh, cheers.